Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little review and lip swatch video for y'all today on the new Maybelline Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Glosses. So I picked up six of them. I think that these are the full line. I think it's just these six. Um, that's all that I saw in the display. So I tried to grab all of them so that I could show you all the different shades. So I'm going to be showing you hand swatches, lip swatches. I'll go into the formula a little bit, price, all that kind of stuff. And I do have a blog post on these as well. So I'll link that down below for you guys. So let's get into it. Okay. So I found these guys at Walmart and they were three eighty six dollars each. I actually took a picture of the display so I could share with you more about what it says about these. So it says color plus shine meets serious care. Kiss off sticky gloss. And underneath that it says now serious care meets color plus shine and leaves sticky behind. So it's supposed to be shiny, it's not supposed to be sticky, and it's supposed to give you a little bit of color. So that's kind of the claims on this. The packaging is adorable. I love that it has like a, I don't know, almost like 80s look to it with the kind of like bright colors that are contrasting. I think they are adorable kind of has the same sort of look as the regular baby lips, which are cute also. So I love the way that the packaging looks. Really good price point. We'll get into the formula a little bit later. I'll talk about that a little bit more for you, but let's get into some swatches. Okay, this first one is number 05, Just a Glimmer. So you can see what it looks like on my lips. It's a really cool duochrome sort of a color. I like this one. You will notice when I swatch these on my hand, they're gonna be really difficult to see. Um, and you can look on swatches on my blog as well. They are pretty sheer, but they do catch the light. This one has a lot more um, kind of like shimmer to it, so you can actually like see that. Kind of um, picks up on the light a little bit more because of that shimmer. I'm looking here, it's very, very fine, like tiny, tiny little micro glitter. I really do not feel it on my lips at all. So I really actually like this one. This is one of my favorites of the collection. Um, just because it has something different going on with it and they're all really comfortable. I'll go into that in a second, but they're all really comfortable. But this one, especially like, even though it has that kind of shimmery sheen to it, you don't feel that grit on your lips. So I do really like this one. Next is number 25, Taupe With Me. And this one is like a really sheer, nude color. Um, and I, I do like the way this looks on my lips, but my lips are pretty pigmented. So just kind of know that about it, that my lips do have some color. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see these on my hand, but it's right across there. So it's right there. I mean, a super light, sheer nude, but I mean, you know, if you're looking for just a little bit of something on your lips, this may be something for you. Um, but it definitely does not come off looking like it does in the tube by any stretch. This looks like it's going to be a really beautiful nude where it's pretty much a sheer gloss with just a hint of a nude color to it. Just the tiniest little hint. This one is number 35, Life's a Peach. This one shows up more. This is kind of like a pinky peach. It has, it, it's more of a milky color, really. And you could see when I was applying it on my lips... Um, it's definitely more of that milky shade, but it's not super opaque because sometimes those milky colors can be a little bit difficult to pull off. So it's right across here. Hopefully you can see that. You can just tell these have way, way, way more shine than color, but this one is definitely by far the most pigmented of the group, I think, from what I'm remembering. Yeah, because I think the next one isn't as opaque. So there is that one that was Life's a Peach. This one is number 40, Tickled Pink, and this is a really sheer pink. I mean, it's hard to even say that it's a pink. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this watch. I'm really trying to build it up. Hopefully, you can see it more on my lips, but it's right here, right across there on my hand. I'm looking at my monitor to try to see if I can catch the light with it, but that's what it looks like. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah. If you're looking for a super, super sheer pink gloss, then this would be an option for you. But again, I think it's a little deceiving just because it doesn't look like it does in the tube. That looks like it's going to be a really beautiful bright pink, but that's definitely not what it comes off looking like for sure. This is number 45 Coral Craze. This is definitely like, I mean, this is a clear gloss. It really, really is. 
I mean, I will say in the tube, this one looks like, you know, you can tell it's going to be super clear and sheer. I mean, clear and sheer. Mm -hmm. Super clear and see-through that you're not going to you're not gonna have color with this one. Like, I don't even need to hardly show it to you, but it's right across here. It's just, it's a clear gloss. I don't know. I, it looks like it would have a coral color to it, like an orangey sheen to it by looking at it in here, but um, it really just comes off clear. I don't see any of this corally color when you get it on your lips or in a swatch. And finally, this is number 60, Berry Chic. This one is like a jelly orangey red. I actually kind of like this one. I mean, when you get it on your lips, you can see a little bit more of it. <laughs> These swatches are funny because it's like, you can't hardly see that. I don't know if you can see it. Check out my blog, but it's right there. I don't know, on my lips I like it a lot more because it's super glossy. I mean, you can see how crazy glossy that is. I put a lot of it on though, as you saw. I mean, I kept layering it. But it is a pretty just kind of like, I don't know, glossy, corally, reddish sort of a gloss. Glossy, reddish, I don't even know. It's a glossy sort of a reddish coral. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it's cute for this time of year especially. So as far as the formula goes on these glosses and the claims, I do think that it pretty much delivers on what it's claiming to do. Other than, I think it's a little bit deceiving to say color because I mean, really, that's not a lot of color. It's definitely a lot more shine. You get a lot of shine with these glosses and you get a really comfortable feeling gloss. These feel very creamy and comfortable on the lips, really hydrating. Um, I love the way that they feel on the lips. I really do enjoy the formula of these. They just don't have a lot of color. So I would say you definitely do not need all six of these. I mean, maybe one or two of them because they're just not very different. But you know what's funny is there are a lot of high-end glosses that look just like this that you would pay 20 to 25 dollars sometimes for a high-end gloss that's just as sheer in color but this is a great formula so i don't think this is a bad gloss you just have to go into it knowing it is not going to be necessarily what it looks like in the tube you know it's not going to come out looking like this it's very sheer in color but it has a lot of shine and it's really comfortable on the lips all right guys so that was my review and lip swatch video on the new maybelline baby lips moisturizing lip glosses so i hope that you really enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it let me know down below have you picked any of these up if you have what do you think about the formula what are your favorite shades i just love hearing your opinions let me know down below if you have any questions i'm happy to answer those Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!